outlining images like this in Adobe Spark. So stick around. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So glad that you're here. My name is Claudio and today I'm going to be walking you through how to create outlines like these right here using Adobe Spark. Now, normally we do something like this in Photoshop, but I figured out a way to do it in Adobe Spark. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Starting off at spark.adobe.com, I'm going to click on the blue plus sign and choose a custom size graphic. It's pretty much how I start all my projects. And I'm going to go with a default size here doesn't really matter whatever size you prefer for your graphic go for it and for this one i'm going to choose a background and let's go with a stationary background let's see let's try a fabric style background see if that works i'm just going to go with this bluish one right here just to make things speed up it looks like it's denim so we'll go with that denim background and i just increase the size here Cool, all right, cool background. And now I'm going to add some text just to make this look interesting. I'm just gonna use the default option here. Let's try, let's do this make it happen style here. Now, if you are a subscriber to Adobe Spark, you'll have access to these premium templates. So you see, these are already grouped for you, which are nice. And uh, let's go ahead and change the color. So I'll click through and let's go with a nice contrast white. And we'll do the same for these shapes here or these icons. I'll make these white as well. And what you'll need to do is kind of click through the groups and then you can change the color. All right, now let's get to the nitty gritty of this part. So I, I got this make it happen. And actually let's change this up. And let's just do like a greeting, hello. And we could always adjust these shapes here. Let's bring this down closer. Move this down. And I'll do the same for this one here. And now I'm going to bring in my picture. This is what you all are waiting for. I just wanted to get this background ready to go. I'm going to upload it from my desktop. I have several images here. Let's go ahead and go with Let's do this one, do a little peace sign right there and bring that in. So now my next step is to import a photo, which is what you've been looking for, what you've been waiting for. So let's go ahead and upload the image here. Let's see what I've got and choose. Let's go ahead and go with this one right here. I'm going to bring that in. And what we're going to do is remove the background. So the background in the photo so that only my picture is left. So here we have my photo. Let me go ahead and enlarge this. It's okay that it blocks the text because we're going to remove that background. So right here, click on remove background. Adobe Sensei, which is artificial intelligence that Adobe has created, is going to remove that background along with being powered by Photoshop using some of those Photoshop uh, power in Adobe Spark. So there we have my picture. The outline has been removed. And let's go ahead and hit the check mark that it's done. And there we have my picture ready to go. So now the next step is the outline. So here's what you do. We're going to duplicate my picture. And then what I'm going to do is with that picture selected is go down here to filters. We're going to go ahead and go with the duo tone option here. And right now you see it's kind of a pink and a turquoise color. We're going to click on the shadows option and choose white. And then we're going to go back to the highlight and choose white as well. And basically it's using white for both shadow and highlights, basically white out the whole picture. And that's going to be my outline. So now what I'll do is just make this just a tad bit larger. As you can see my picture behind. And then what I'll do is click right here where I have my layers. With that top one selected, I'm going to just slide it underneath my picture. Now you can kind of see the makings of that outline. And what we'll do is select the background or that white out, and we'll use the arrows to make adjustments, get it close to where it needs to be. And it kind of fades, or I should say, it kind of gets lost with my shirt because my shirt is white. So I'm gonna go ahead and change that 
color. Let's go ahead and go with, let's try it just gold with this red. And then let's do the red again, as you can see. So we got red right there, it looks cool. And then let's make it just a tad bit larger, slide it over using the arrow keys on the keyboard, maybe make it a tad smaller and bring it up. This is gonna take a little bit of fine tuning. All right, so now I've got kind of that side there. And then what I'll do is duplicate that layer again, make sure it's selected, duplicate once more. And now I see it on the other side using my arrow keys. I'll make some adjustments, get it as close to where I want it to be, which I think I've kind of got it where I want it to be. And then what I'll do is select both these two layers and I'm going to group them together. Now, first off, let me move my picture out of the way. And then I'm going to highlight these two. Now make sure I don't select too many. I'm going to shift and turn this off that off there we go so now i only have my background selected these two and i'm going to group so let's make sure they're grouped there we go it's perfect and now we'll slide my picture back over here and i've got that outline just like that and if i want to i can click those again ungroup and go to the filters again make sure it's turned on i can go here and change the color let me go with this color up here just to show you how easy it is to swap out. And that may actually look a little better. There we go. Boom, there we have the outline. Make adjustment to my picture here. Use the arrow keys. There we go. Let's make this a little bit darker just to make that contrast show up nicely. There we go. And that's how easy it is to create outlines to cut out images in Adobe Spark. If you have any comments or questions about this video, please do let me know by adding it in the comment section below. If you do create your own outline, go ahead and link it in there as well. Don't forget to like, subscribe, click the notifications, and share this video with your friends. Thank you for stopping by once again. Until next time, be good to one another. Peace.